fellow modelers welcome back to another video today we are going to be going over something i got for christmas i know it's been a while but we have a lot of new videos planned but this is warlord games as hail caesar the roman invasion of britain this is their starter set and i'm going to be unboxing it and then later in a few other videos we're going to be building and painting some of the miniatures like I said earlier, I wanted to get into some 28 millimeters because they're just, as you've seen in some other videos, they're just a little bit bigger than the 172nd scale, more detail, and they sometimes they just look nicer. But without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. So, you know, on the sides here, the same thing. It shows what the Gauls will look like, or I guess these would be Britons or Bretonians. And then on this side, it shows your uh, legion, kind of. And then you get a Scorpio, if I can change that over. And that's about it. Uh, it says on the box here, Ancient Britons clash with the invading Roman legions in this Hail Caesar starter kit. Now, I have opened it already, but I repacked it the way they had it, just to show off how nice their packaging is. So we're going to take the top off. Top has nothing in it, uh, nothing really about it except for what we've already seen. So we'll just toss that to the side. And uh, so this was packed by Kai, so thank you Kai. And so what we get here is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. We get 10, or to my bad, 12 of these small dice. They're D6, but they are a little smaller if I grab another die. So that's like an average die. I think this was from a Yahtzee game that I kept. So these are a little smaller, but you do get quite a lot of them. So and they're, they're die, so I mean, there's not really anything special to say about them. And then here is the A5, which I think is the smaller version and the paperback version of the rule book. It's really nice. You can see how you, to paint things. Got some of Macedonian phalanxes, you know, troop formations, tactics you can use, different, um, in the back it shows you, uh, like, what the unit's morale and their stamina is, so that's cool. And then it actually shows you some of their new stuff, which is the, uh, Vikings, and, um, I think they're doing Normans now, so, like, kind of like that early Dark Ages. Yep, that's the real book got some famous famous leaders on it from um this time period pharaoh alexander william the conqueror so that's nice and here are our shield transfer decals or decals however you want to say it so here are the ones for the celts or britons bretonians <laughs> they look nice they have board shields, kind of like kite shields, and then they have some, I'm guessing, uh, oval shields, some round shields with different um, middle parts, so we'll see. That's about, how many is that? So that's going to be 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, or my math's not right here, hold on, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 25 for 1, but, and then you get 25 again, so that's already 50. 75 a hundred so that's a hundred celtic shield transfers they look really nice i'll probably use them you know you could paint your own designs on i'll see about doing that in our video but so that's those they look really nice overall and then for the romans you get one of these which i'm pretty sure if i read the box earlier it has about 45 you get four of these small circular ones. I'm guessing those are for um, skirmishers, like vigiles, or for like the command sprue with like the uh, standard bearer and the um, the musicians. But other than that, you got the veteran um, shields. Um, zoom in on some of them real quick here. They do have the legion number on here. It says a legion vic. So for historians i have not looked that up yet but that's what that is and then here is something written by rick presley it is the roman invasion of britain it's kind of like a i wouldn't say quick start guide but it kind of is it's a quick start guide it tells you a lot of history here's the uh if i find it again here's the cover image that's on the box really nice and it shows you how you can base them 
on the bases that come. Got Celtic skirmishers, Roman general, all of them looking really cool. And then it'll show you tactics and finally just how to win the battle. It's pretty cool. You got some naked warriors there and <laughs> funny if we ever add those to the collection. And then here we have the thing that holds all the sprues. So we have our quick reference sheet with casualties for Romans and Celts on the sides. And this is going to tell us all of our tests, blunders, range, attacks, formations, morale, ranged hits, hand-to-hand -hand hits. So that's that. And holy moly, if I just... That's a lot of sprues if you know what I mean there. So we'll put the camera back and we'll go over all these sprues. So first we have this um, lead-free uh, Roman invasion of Britain. These are the two generals, so if you um, want to name them after historical people, but you have the um, leader right here for the uh, Celtic Bretonians right there. And then you have um, your Roman general. I'm trying to think of which one was in the invasion of Britain, but I don't remember. We've been doing more A push than anything else. Then you have two horses. I'm guessing one is more Roman than the other one. Has like some different markings on it. And then this was packaged by Voss or Vass. So thank you, Vass. Now if we move to the sprues, I looked over these and these are the plastic's great. They're nicely molded, hardly any mold lines. But so this would be our Roman scorpion. You got the spikes there. If I zoom in on some of these figures, they're just, the level of detail is just truly amazing for how small they are, but they're not really too small. I mean, they are heroic side, size, so, and then if I go through here, we have one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Let me make sure there's no more. There you have it. Eight sprues of Celtic warriors. And that's pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie. So if I zoom in here, here's what some of their torsos look like. I know they're upside down. You get a lot of weapon options, daggers, swords, spears, uh, javelins. Here's those shields we were talking about earlier. The shield transfers go on. And I mean, even these bodies, like, this person's ripped, if you ask me. So, you know, you got, you got your lightly armored chain mail, you got some tunic people, some naked, well, not fully naked, but some partially naked, because the armies for, uh, what is it, for uh, the Dark Ages or the Biblical Ages, they usually weren't, like, fully sorted and shielded people, you know, ready to fight. And we also have our command sprue, so here are the three different kind of, uh, what would they be called, standards, yeah. You got two here, you got a deer one and a boar one, that's pretty cool. As well as you have your cool kind of dragon head horn. And here are some of those heads, they kind of look like the cone head people from the commercials. But So that's all of that, so that's our eight sprues, it's a lot of work. So there's that. And if you noticed on the front, or on this side of the box here, it shows you all the different things you can get. With Hail Caesar, you got your rule books, Rule Britannia, and then Dacatin Wars. I actually picked up some Dacatin cataphracts that we'll be learning how to paint in a future How I Paint Things. And we're actually going to be doing them kind of as Parthian cataphracts because Parthia was a very heavy cab focused army. So, you know, you got your Egyptians, you have your Caesar's Legions, Dacatin Nobles, uh, Germanic Cavalry, Germanic. Spartans, Macedonian, Phalanxes, all that good stuff. Then on this side is Black Powder, which I definitely want to get the starting set for this too. All the stuff about um, the 1700s to the 1900s. You got your French line infantry, British. You got your stuff from the uh, American Revolution all the way to the Zulu Wars. And then finally, with some of our infantry that we painted earlier, we got our bolt action stuff here, you know, tanks. Tank War, Battle for Berlin, all that good stuff. And then finally, probably the one I know least about, 
pike and shot so i'm pretty sure this is around yeah it says over here the english civil war so that's all the good stuff we get there with all that stuff and then let's open up these guys so here's one two three all right yep so we get four sprues of romans um it looks to be about eight on each sprue and we have our command sprue here with um some of the small shields if i flip them over so you guys see all the detail on these guys it's really amazing holy cow um and then over here we have the kind of more chainmail guys you got our horn here you have the um legion flag with the hand and then i'm thinking if i look for it oh yeah here's the wolf pelts yep that um the standard bear would wear now you don't get one kind of like the eagle bear like if they had the eagle in the middle that said s uh spore but uh that's okay you got your own legion here pretty cool some people have javelin arms sword arms so you can have them fighting doing whatever you want so you get four sprues there three plus a command sprue each have about eight on them so that's what eight sixteen twenty four 32 so it's about 32 romans plus the uh scorpion crew so that's not bad i mean the romans are definitely going to be better fighters than the celts that's why there's so many more of them and then finally you get an mdf uh uh i guess that's a what would that be that's about a 30 by 30 maybe actually maybe a 50 by 50 base for your uh, scorpion you can put the um the barbs here and then the scorpion with the crew and then for the two generals and if you have any general staff with them you get circular bases so their horses can fit on there that's really nice really nice and considered there's a little bit of flash and mold on the top but you can just sand that off easily and then you're going to get three sheets of these which each come with nine of these 40 by 40 so you can fit four romans or celts on them and then you get these long ones and these single ones, which are for skirmishers. So you get three of these. These are nice bases. They have little studs on the back that are, um, I guess they would help with stability a little bit. But yeah, overall, really nice sprues. So that's pretty much everything you get with the uh, Warlord Hail Caesar Starter Kit. It's a really good price. I'm very happy I got it for Christmas. I was very thankful. I've been putting it off to do a video on it. It's just, I've been so busy recently, but finally, we've come to that time. And, uh, so that's that. And I had a few other things I wanted to say if people are still watching. Uh, I wanted to say there are some new videos coming soon, so stay tuned for those. I also wanted to say thank you. We, um, are almost about to hit 90 subscribers. I'll definitely be making a thank you video when we hit 100 because that's just amazing how fast we grew. And I also wanted to say thank you so much for the comments on some of the videos. They are very nice. They um, actually corrected me a few times, especially if I um, bring the camera up here real quick, to um, the uh, 170 second scale Laha Saint that is still in production. I need to get an airbrush to do the walls. The normal paint didn't work. But people corrected me. It's not PDF or anything like that. It's mdf laser cut by sarissa and you use wood gl glue or um well not a wood glue but kind of like pva glue i think i said pdf and stuff like that so that's my bad but thank you so much for saying that i'm sure people in the comments who get confused will look at that and they'll understand what we're saying and other than that we'll have some new videos planned soon especially some new how i paint things for the uh parthian cataphracts but other than that stay tuned Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a nice day. Peace out.